God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You're not going to walk the streets of heaven without Jesus Christ. You're not going to heaven without Jesus Christ. It's impossible. But when Jesus Christ says he is the way, the truth, and the light, and there is no way unto the Father except by him, you're not going to work walk inside those gates of heaven without Jesus. It's impossible. And you can't hope to go to heaven. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to get to heaven. You've got to put your faith and belief and repentance in the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Heaven's not obtained by good intentions. Heaven is obtained by the blood of Jesus Christ. You're not going to get to heaven by a religion. You're going to get to heaven by the finished work of Jesus Christ. And when a Christian gets saved, they are told to go ye all the world and preach the gospel. It is the gospel of Jesus Christ that saved that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture now that's the ways of salvation that the fact is that the bible says that only jesus christ saved. and no you are not good enough Oh, I'm good, don't you not? The Bible says there is none that do it good. No, not one. The only good is Jesus. The only righteous is Jesus. But the Bible says there is none righteous. That's us. And yet we can obtain His righteousness by our faith and belief in that of what Jesus has done. And it's only by what Jesus has done. You're not going to get to heaven by accident. You're not going to die and be surprised. Oh, look, I'm in glory. No, you're going to be surprised that you're going to wake up and find yourself in hell. Oh, I was a churchgoer. I gave money. I was just a wonderful person. How did I end up in hell? Because you did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, there are good people in hell. There are people who gave money in hell. There are people who were baptized in hell. Hell is full and getting fuller and fuller. Hell is the place that you go by rejecting Jesus. Heaven is obtained by you receiving Jesus Christ by repenting of your sins. Coming to God as the sinner that you are. Now if you're not a sinner and you've done no wrong, you can't get saved. You see the word pardon. To be pardoned is that you are guilty of a crime. You are guilty of a sinner. And you cannot get a pardon if you're not guilty. You can't, oh, I'll say this prayer and get to heaven. Well, you know, I, I, I was with a preacher and I said this prayer. He, he told me what to say and I said it. And I'm going to heaven. No, you're not. If there was no repentance, 
And there was no sorry for being a sinner. And no acknowledgement that you have sinned against a holy and righteous God and said a prayer. You can say that prayer in hell. Many people have said a prayer and are in hell today. And many people are, have said a prayer and will go into hell. A prayer can't save your soul. Repentance and faith that Jesus Christ alone can redeem your soul and wash away your sins. And the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. If you're living and breathing, you are a sinner. You were born in sin, thanks to Adam and Eve. And you need to be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb that take away the sin of the world. No blood, no heaven. And it has to be the blood of Jesus Christ. It has to be the blood of God. So as a Jehovah Witness, if you don't believe that Jesus is God, you're not going to heaven because you need God's blood to cleanse you of your sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus is able to cleanse a sinner to be whiter than snow. You don't come to Jesus on your merit. You come to Jesus on His merit. That Jesus Christ Himself suffered and died according to the Scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Without the finished work of Jesus, you will die and you will wake up in a place called hell. And unlike today in Florida, it will never be cold in hell. There is no climate control in hell. You just burn in the flame forever. There are no refreshments in hell. Because you have rejected God's gift. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world, He gave. He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't go to church to get saved. The Christians are told, go ye all in the world and preach the gospel. What? Oh. And that gospel is, again, <coughs> that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures.
Can your rabbi do that? Can your pastor do that? Can your priest do what Jesus done? Your television evangelist, can they? No, they can't. The only thing they can do is they can die and bury and that's it. And what is the difference between religion and Jesus? The empty tomb. God sent his angel to proclaim that Jesus is not here, he is risen. That is the means of salvation. Now Lazarus died and came out of the grave, but he died again. Jesus Christ will never die again. That is the difference between Jesus and religion. Your religion may close its doors tomorrow. What are you going to do then? If your salvation is in your church and the doors close. Then you're in trouble. What if the means of your baptism? He said, well, preacher, I'm saved by baptism. What if you find out that the baptism you were baptized was not the means of salvation? What if you find out, oh, I was baptized in fresh water, God meant to be salt water. Which baptism? Fresh water or salt water? Which one? Ocean, lake, stream, river, bay, city tap water, a hotel pool, a church baptismal. What baptism saves? None. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? You say, well, preacher, why is there so many churches? Because the devil will give you an option to find a God that you want. The devil has many options for you to try to be deceived into hell forever. And yet there are no denominations in heaven. And there's no denominations in hell either. He said, well, preacher, I'm, non I'm non-denomination. That's a, that's a denomination. And whatever you call yourself, if you are not washed in the blood of Jesus, your home in eternity will be hell. Because you have chosen to receive and believe something else besides Jesus. And the Apostle Paul has warned us that there is another Jesus, there is another gospel, and there is another spirit that will not get you into heaven. And when you believe in the another spirit, the another Jesus, and another gospel, you have been deceived by the devil, and by man, and by religion. And when you have come to heaven through Jesus Christ alone, you have come through the way, the truth, and the life. And then you can come on to the Father. And the only way you're going to come on to the Father is through the way, 
the truth, and the life. And that is Jesus Christ. It is dependent upon Jesus Christ and His finished work alone that you are able to be saved. And Jesus said, I have come to seek them that are lost. You are lost when you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus. Well, I go to church. You're still lost and going to hell. You've been baptized. You're still lost and going to hell. You're supposed to be across the street. Go back across the street. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Glory to God of the U.S. Constitution. I can be where I can be to preach Jesus. Glory to God in the highest, that Jesus Christ saved my soul. And the devil will damn yours if you do not believe on Jesus. There is no other way but the way of heaven through Jesus Christ. You will find yourself shot when your eyes open up in the flames of hell thinking, hey, I went to church, what happened? You went to church without Jesus, that's what happened. You died without Jesus, that's what happened. You decided to put all your eternity upon something other than Jesus, that's what happened. And without Jesus, you'll be without heaven. Without Jesus, you are lost and in condemnation. And you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You must put your faith and trust and repent of your sins to have your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You must come to God through God, Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell forever because you have rejected what Jesus Christ has done for salvation. Reject Him and you end up in hell. And have God wave you off. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. It'd be harsh words when God Almighty will declare to you Go to hell. And you need not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Don't be a fool and reject the preaching of the gospel. Because fools will be cast off into hell for eternity. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That there is none righteous. No, not one. 
You need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And without the blood of Jesus, you'll be damned for all eternity. And that's a long time. And you are not good enough. When the Bible says that there are none that do it good. No, not one. You defy the scriptures when you think you're good enough to get into glory when the Bible says you're not good enough. You defy the scriptures when I'm going to get to heaven by any way but Jesus. That defies the scriptures. Because Jesus said, I am the way. The church is not Jesus. It will never be Jesus. Baptism is not Jesus. It will never be Jesus. Doing good is good, but that's never going to be Jesus. Your salvation has to be Jesus. Jesus Christ is God approved 100%. Religion is man-made. Jesus Christ is God approved. You can't put your faith in a government. A government can't save you. Donald Trump can't get you to heaven. The Democrats can't save your soul. Only by Jesus Christ are you able to be washed and be clean and enter into the gates of heaven forever. Only by Jesus. And you tell that to Donald Trump too, and I'll tell him. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You tell that to anybody because that's the message for all sinners. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation can only be wrought. Going to heaven can only be by Jesus Christ. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. Are you washed in the blood, not the water? Are you washed in the blood, not the water, of the Lamb of God? Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood? Have you been to Calvary? I didn't say go to baptistry. I didn't say go to Catholic tree. I said go to Calvary. Where mercy is great and free. At Calvary is where life begins. Without Calvary, there is no salvation. Without the tomb, you are not saved. Without the resurrection of Jesus, eat, drink, and be buried, for tomorrow you'll die and wake up in hell. And without being a sinner that we are, God can't save you. If you're so wonderful, you don't need to be saved, but you do. To obtain the pardon of God, you've got to be guilty. you got to be guilty as a sinner that you are. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Believe in Jesus.
the wages of sin is death, and the Bible says that there is an afterlife. Only two. Heaven by Jesus Christ and hell by rejecting Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. The satisfaction of God is that his son suffered and died upon the cross. And that they buried him. And that God resurrected him after three days and three nights according to the scripture. If your salvation, your dependence is not according to the scriptures, you are not scripturally sound, you're without hope and without God, and prepare to meet thy God. And without Jesus, prepare to have God proclaim to you Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And if God doesn't know who you are, you're in big trouble. And God doesn't know who you are by sitting in a seat in a pew in a church. He knows who you are by kneeling at the cross. At the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? There's a fountain that floweth deep and wide. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Is your salvation resting upon Calvary and the empty tomb? Because that's the gospel. That's the salvation. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Salvation is not, oh, my friend invited me to church and I had chicken. Salvation is I came to Jesus and I laid upon Jesus my sins. And I became washed in the blood of God. That's salvation. And salvation can be done right here on the sidewalk of Daytona Beach without setting foot in a church. There are tons and tons of Christians that got saved elsewhere outside of a church. And they're saved, their names in the Lamb's Book of Life, and they're going to heaven by the blood of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ alone and nothing else. Heaven is not by good intentions. Heaven is not, oh, I think so, I hope so. Heaven is, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. And that eternal life is in Jesus Christ.
Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? The Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed in the blood of the Lamb? That is your access to heaven. Reject Jesus, and Jesus will reject you. Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. That is the rejection of God. God is loving, but God is holy. And God is not a going to allow an unredeemed soul into his heaven to pollute it. You must be washed in the Lamb. You must be cleansed in the blood. Without it, you will go into hell. I preach hell because your church doesn't. It's about time you heard about hell. Because hell is real. And hell is where you will go without Jesus. And that Jesus is the only that can save your soul. You say, preacher, what does God tell you to preach? That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. And without it, you'll go to hell and you'll burn in hell because you have rejected Jesus and God will reject you, good person. There are good people in hell today because they have rejected Jesus. You can be a good person too and go to hell because you will not listen to the preaching of the cross of Jesus and the gospel to be saved by Jesus alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Do it another way and you go to hell. And you don't pass go, and you don't collect $200, and you do not party in hell. You are suffering. Because you told God, I have another way. I'll do it my way. I don't want Jesus. I want that preacher to shut up. I don't want Jesus. Depart. From me, ye workers of iniquity, I never knew you. How's that? You ain't going to hear that preaching in your modern church today. Your panty waist preacher. Tell your preacher he's not to wear that would pertain to a woman. Silk underwear when he gets in his pulpit. Tell him to put some sackcloth on and repent and to pray and preach hell. Preachers that wear women's underwear out of the pulpit. Oh, I just feel so feminine. Make God sick. Revelation chapter 4. 
The gospel is what needs to be preached. And the gospel is hard. The gospel hurts. The gospel is bloody. The gospel is brutal. Because what the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered. Suffered and bled and tortured and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture that's the gospel And if your church is going to have an Easter bunny, an Easter egg, anything Easter, you are in a pagan church, get out and get into a Bible-believing church. Easter is for Rome. Jesus is for salvation. Bunnies and eggs have nothing to do with the Bible. Bunnies Easter bunnies are like Santa Claus. They are a lie. They are real. And Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus is love. Jesus is love. God is love. That's right. Love. That he suffered and died for you. That he suffered and died for you that you might believe on him. And God's a holy and righteous God. And without Jesus, you will find yourself in hell for all eternity because you rejected the love of God. God is a holy and righteous God. God said, be holy, for I am holy. And you're not holy, for the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You guys have a good day now. Listen, a loving God will tell you to depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. That's the love of God, but you will not receive it. You will reject it, and you will be cast out into eternity of a place of hell by the loving God because you rejected the love of God. It's that simple. Get angry with God. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. God will win. Get down on your knees, repent of your sins, and to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. It's that simple. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Have you been washed? Only pantyways preachers preach the love of God, the love of God, the love of God. Yeah, there's the love of God, there's the holiness of God, there's the wrath of God. When you will not come to his son, who was beaten, who was treated by the wrath of man for our sins. Jesus Christ alone is able to save you. Listen, the love of God is when a man gets up and preaches the hell out of you. There's no love when a man will get up and lie to you and let you go to hell. That's no love. That's still an offering plate. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The love of God is Jesus Christ. That's the love of God. What are you going to do with the love of God? Jesus Christ. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. If you reject the love of God, Jesus Christ, 
depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Listen, I'm just telling you what the Bible says. The love of God is Jesus Christ. Receive him and believe on him, you get saved. Reject him and you go to hell. That's how the King James 1611 Bible. It's that simple. When the Bible says, prepare to meet thy God, that ain't with flowers. <laughs> That's a warning. Wait till you see the, the love of God when he comes back for the second advent. When he comes back as a lion of the tribe of Judah, no longer a baby. You'll see the love of God when he comes and starts killing his enemies with the sword that comes out of his mouth. Because they rejected God, rejected the nation of Israel, and went for the Antichrist. You don't know what the love of God is till you come to the love of God and believe on the love of God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And marvel not if the world hates you. Why is it that those that say the love of God, the love of God, hate the preacher? That's an oxymoron. Well, let me take off oxy. You're a moron. The love of God, the love of God, I hate you. You're a moron. You're stupid. Those are my words. That's not out of the Bible. The Bible says you're a fool. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. He say, preacher, you said that twice. So does the scriptures. I read the book of Psalms. I quoted you twice on the book of Psalms. The fool has said in his heart that there is no God. That's out of the book of Psalms twice. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The book of Acts of the Apostles. I am the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus said. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, Jesus. That's in the Gospel of John. Depart from me, workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Out of the Gospel of Matthew. He that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. The Gospel of John. For with the man with for with the heart man believes unto righteousness. With the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The epistle to the Romans. Come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be made as white as snow. Isaiah. And whosoever was not found written in the last book of life was cast into the lake, that, uh, lake of fire. Revelation. Friend, the love of God is I've given you the Bible. I'm just not quoting the book and chapter, but I am giving you the Bible. And when you say, there's the love of God, the love of God, you're giving us bull. Because you don't know what the love of God is because you have not believed on the love of God. For God so loved the world, he gave his son. Imagine a Christ rejected telling me about love. When the Bible says God is love and you don't know God because you don't know Jesus. Oxy, moron. There's one way to heaven. And that's through Jesus Christ. 
There's one access to God, and that's Jesus Christ. And you will not get to heaven without it. You won't make it. You won't hope to make it. You won't believe to make it without Jesus Christ. And you won't get there accidentally. You better believe that hell is real. Hey, you know, all I'm doing is preaching about your home. If you get saved and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, go to church and learn about your home in heaven. But you can't learn about heaven if you're not going to heaven. So I'm trying to tell you what your home is like when you die without Jesus. It's hell. And I preach hell that you may not go to hell. And how not to go to hell is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. We tell you, don't go to hell. But you won't listen. You will not put your faith and trust in God. You'll put your faith and trust in something else. And you will end up somewhere else. And there you will abide for all eternity. And it will be a shame because you have heard the way. You have heard the truth. You have heard the word of God. That Jesus saved. And only Jesus saves. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. It's hell without it. And it's heaven with it. Hell is so bad that Jesus left his throne and suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture that we might have eternal life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's nothing else to preach but Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The only name to know. Now they say it's not what you know, it's who you know. You better get to know Jesus to get to heaven. Because without it, you won't get to heaven, you won't see heaven. Listen, when you reject Jesus, you don't even get judged in heaven. You get judged in an empty outer space. Listen, the new heavens, the new earth, and new Jerusalem comes after the great white throne judgment. You don't even get a little glimpse of heaven. And without Jesus, you're not going. And without Jesus, you won't be going. Reject Jesus and you cannot be going to heaven. And without Jesus, you will die and you'll wake up in hell. And you were a good person. 
You were a fine person. And you woke up in hell. Because you have rejected the words of the preacher about Jesus. You have thought that the preacher is crazy. I am. But so what? God said he uses the foolishness of the world. I'm foolish. But you're so wise to reject Jesus. You're so smart without Jesus. And keep on being smart. And you'll be a fool in hell. When the Bible says to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Anybody can do it. A child can get saved. But oh, you, the great you are, I can't believe in that Jesus. You're a fool. You're a fool. Paul said, God came into the world to save sinners. The Bible says, all have sinned. Jesus said, I come to seek that which is lost. And if you've never trust Jesus, you're lost. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved from being lost. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He that has the Son hath everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when you reject the preacher, you're rejecting God. Jesus told Paul, why persecute thou me? And Paul never laid a hand on Jesus. Death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. And without Jesus, you'll go to hell. And hell will be your permanent dwelling. And you need not to go. Repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb of God. Which take away the sin of the world. And when you reject Jesus, you'll be rejected by God who is Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, you're not going into Jesus' home, heaven. It's plain and simple. The scriptures proclaim to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. I 
I can't tell you about heaven yet because you're not going because you have not believed on Jesus. I'm not going to tell you about the tribulation. You can't get out of hell yet till you believe on Jesus. Why do the Sermon on the Mount when you haven't come out of hell through Jesus? Oh, preacher, go through the book of Revelation. Come out of hell through Jesus first. Yes, it's beautiful. Believe on Jesus. Trust in Jesus. Lay your sins on the Lamb of God. We'll take away the sin of the world. The first obedience of God is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the first obedience. The love of God is His Jesus. The salvation of God is Jesus. The light of God is Jesus. The bread of God is Jesus. The water of life is Jesus. The shepherd is Jesus. The door is Jesus. Salvation is Jesus. And there's no other name but Jesus and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Messiah is Jesus. The love of God is Jesus. The gift of God is Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Precious name I know. Washed away my sins and redeemed my soul. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. That is what will get you into heaven. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved.